in use 10. Expect visual approach. Acknowledge receipt of information delta. King Faisal Air Base Information Delta, time 0020. Oh, okay, Winds 10548. Visibility greater than 10 miles. Two. Clear. Temperature 18. Three. Altimeter 2980. Runway Four. in use 10. Expect visual approach. Two ready. Three ready. Four ready. Tower, Weasel 31, flight to 4, F-16 with Henry Delta, looking to taxi to the active from shelter. Weasel 31, tower, clear taxi to runway 10. Tower, Weasel 31, taxi to runway 10. Tower, Weasel 31, ready for departure, runway 10. Weasel 31, clear for takeoff, runway 10. Weasel 31, clear for takeoff, runway 10. Alright guys, welcome to Mission 2 of the Gambler's Campaign. <clears throat> this mission is called First Strike. We are going to be escorting some B1s into the target area to attack their primary target. Weasel 3-1 and 3-3, flight and element leads, are carrying AGM-88 arms. Weasels 3-2 and 3-4, that's us, are carrying AGM-65. and two GBU-10s. We're gonna form up with our flight, and we're gonna hold south while we wait for the bombers to get to our location. We're gonna fly three miles behind. Weasel, uh, Re Weasel 3-1 will fly three miles ahead. Whole lot of nothing out there. Oh yeah. Weather, we don't three one. We go three one. Send it. We don't three one. Request a two contact. Bra zero nine six fifty twenty five thousand. We go three one. That's our boys. Weasel 31, Roger. Now that e Eagle Dynamics has finally set up the Viper so that it doesn't have the controls default to force feedback sticks, I think the majority of us are using uh, spring centered sticks. Uh, the Viper feels much more responsive. It's pretty awesome. I tried doing some air to air refueling and it was the easiest time I've had with the Viper and DCS. We'll join up with Bones and Kilo. Weasel 25 and 0102. Weasel 31 will sweep 10 miles ahead. Weasel 
So we're going to follow Weasel 33 and we'll stay behind the bones. Doing my best to keep up with the AI here. Not always the easiest thing. Why is he why is he descending? What what are you doing, buddy? Why? Alright, so this is their target. They're gonna be basically attacking all of the stuff around there. But we're gonna pick off any stragglers that might exist. If they do get everything, we'll switch to our secondary. Which is down there, it's an old abandoned uh, SAM site that has AAA and whatnot on it. 
Yeah, I don't have that. To have note that the uh, GBU 12s <clears throat> have a different laser code than normal default, so something to watch out for. Make sure that's set up correctly. So the bones are getting engaged. We're gonna to try to get ahead of them now. The rest of the flight, <coughs> three one and three three are gonna engage with harms. I'm not sure how successful I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna to try to get this Maverick bore sighted. See if we can find anything in the desert to lock onto. That SA-3 is still launching. Weasel 3-2 rifle. Weasel 3-1, Jack, SA-3, pushing north. All right, got the Mav bore sighted. Yep, done. Look at all that, dude. There's their radio tower. Holy, there's a lot going on down there. Oh, one, one, one mic. Wait, I'll get three anchoring south of primary. Okay, B1s are dropping their hate now. Let's go ahead and do our orbit. That's why the B1s are badass right there. Alright, that's me. Yeah, so when my attack's complete, I'll go ahead and hit that button. 
and we will go from there. Rolling in on the secondary target, triple A sight. Let's turn in a little harder here. You got the first target lined up. Locked. Four. Rifle. Rifle. Yes. All right, one down. We've got two bombs left. And one more time, I'm just gonna verify that my laser code is accurate. 1686, 1686. Okay, happy with that. Rolling in. All right, buddy, you're next. Hey, there's the loft cue. Holding down the pickle button. Four, weapon away. All right, lazing target. Four, shaft target. Yeah. All right, who is next? I got this guy right here. Still popping shots. Let's give you a bad day too. All right, leveling off. Looks good. Lofting cue, holding pickle button. Four, weapon away. There it goes. Not gonna lie, it's a lot like Club and Baby Seals, but when you have an enemy like that and you're going against the technological might of American air power, you're gonna have a bad day. So far, my biggest critique here, and this is not on <coughs> Baltic Dragon at all, and it's really the way that AI is, and it's really hard. They don't wait for you, they just they just go. So I'm trying really hard to play catch up, and I should have been flying finger fo fingertip with uh, my flight lead when the Aussies joined up on us, and of course, uh, I was a couple miles behind, so that didn't hit the same as it should have, you know?
maybe their flight speeds are a little too aggressive I don't know I I'm not quite at mill but I'm pretty close and I'm struggling to keep up with this guy doing 440 knots Going nose cold. I'm gonna get into the observation post position. And there's Weasel 33 flying up to the tanker. Nighttime aerial refueling. This will be fun. Ready, recontact. Clear contact. Let's go ahead and disconnect. Back up to 7,000 pounds, that'll do. Yeah, I need to tweak the dead zones a little bit. It's a little twitchy, but I mean, I just did nighttime airy, aerial refueling in um, a turn, so it's definitely a lot more easy to pull off. Damn, the Viper is such a good looking plane. Weasel flight, approach. Radar contact, descent to 5000. Contact tower with 5 miles out. Expect to be doing approach for runway 10. Descent to 5000 for runway 10. Tower with 5 miles out. Lining up with runway one zero on final. Not my best landing. That's all right. Caught myself at the end there and still pretty soft on the wheels, so I'll take it.
Well, there you have it. Mission accomplished. Let's look at that dynamic debriefing. So, what's cool is you do the mission and after you complete it, the objective changes and it'll tell you what happened. So the SA-3 locked up the bones, forced us to react, take it out with harms. After that, the high-value air assets got into the target area and obliterated it with bombs, leaving nothing to do for Weasel 3-3 and 3-4. As briefed, 3-3 and 3-4 engaged a secondary target containing several medium-caliber anti-aircraft artillery pieces and destroyed three of them before going Winchester and returning to base. Super cool! All right, shutting down the jet. I hope you guys all really enjoyed this one. This was a pretty straightforward mission, but a good introduction into the way the fighting is going to go in this campaign. I really enjoyed it. Please consider leaving a like. Appreciate the help with the channel when you guys do that. Subscribe if you're new here, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. This has been Raptor Rising. Raptor out.